Well, hi, I'm here on my desktop in Photoshop CS5, and I wanted to show a simple demonstration on how to make a simple geometric design. So the first thing I'm going to do is open a new file. 600 by 400 will do. And I'm going to stretch this out so that it fills the screen. You just move it around so that it's kind of in the center. Okay. And the next thing I want to do is open a color wheel. And I'm going to go to File, Open and it's going to pop up my um, color. I'm going to open a small, um, uh, just open my color wheels. Okay, open. Okay, now I have my color wheels open and I'm going to separate them out and think about, I'm going to actually reduce the size of this down a little bit so that it can, it fits in the screen uh, enough that we can see it while, while not blocking the actual compositional space here. I just want to show the idea of choosing colors from a color wheel. I'm thinking about my composition and I want something in the foreground, something in the background. I want to create a sense of depth. Um, so I'm going to use a cool color and then a warm color. So I'm going to use a complementary color uh, from the additive color wheel of blue and yellow. Okay, so now I'm done with that. First thing I want to do is think about background. I'm going to use my marquee tool to actually select an area within my uh, my file to produce a bit of background color. Now I, I would like the background color to be a little bit soft or maybe a little bit gray and I'm going to use my paint bucket to fill. Now notice my opacity here. At 50% or 100% notice the difference and I'm Alt Command Z to go back to where it was, drop it down to 50% or somewhere around there and notice how it's a little bit lighter and more transparent. So I'm going to leave it like that and now I have my background color and I'm going to just go to my rectangle tool and start drawing uh, some shapes. Now my opacity here is at 100%. I have anti-alias check so that I don't get really irregular edges and I'm going to make some a few smaller shapes as if they're going off into the distance, right? And um, maybe a couple of little ones over here, a couple of just as if things are moving through the composition. So it's just a little bit of movement to carry the eye. I'm going to increase the saturation and brightness a little bit so that I have a few more vivid colors. I'm going to draw oh, about a square, about a. Yeah, I don't just draw one a little bit brighter in front of that, extend that across the space. I don't like the lineup of that. Command Alt Z and yeah, now I've got something going on there. Okay, make something even more vivid and bright coming across the composition here. So it goes right to the edge, right off the edge of the composition, right? Or maybe just um, near the front. And Let's see, I want to do uh, one or two darker shades here just to have a couple of other elements moving through the composition. Okay, so now I have that and I want one or two more, maybe just some brighter, just a few brighter spots here in the foreground. Okay, so now I have a little bit of depth built up. So I'm going to switch to my yellow color and I want to put a couple of ellipses in. Oops, and um, I'm going to hold down the shift key and make a circle, right? That pops forward, right? Warm colors tend to advance. So actually, I'm going to use that right in the foreground here. Larger circles, and I don't want to let it right touch the edge. That becomes very awkward. I really need to think about where I place things, and um, if I hold my shift key down and don't let go, I can put that right in the front or... Um, Another thing I can do is draw ellipses. I actually think I want to do an ellipse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I don't like the placement of that. really want to think about placement. Okay, I think I'm going to... All right, now that's going to work for me. Okay, and I'm going to do another ellipse here, and I'm going to modify, maybe do uh, some softer shapes, a little bit lighter maybe, not quite so gray, a little bit lighter in the background a few more ellipses as if they're kind of going off into space and I can make it even a little bit lighter traveling through space moving the eye through the composition and I can start pulling a few a few of them back into the foreground here changing the direction brightening the color and moving the eye through the composition. So